Hey y'all, I got an email this morning from Miss Jasmine asking for a little bit of clarification on my weight loss formula. So she wants to weigh 130 pounds. So she takes uh, her desired weight, 130, and adds a zero to it. So she gets 1,300 calories for the day. And then her further question was, if she burns off 500 calories on the elliptical machine, does she then get 1,800 calories total? Yes, you do. However, you need to be really, really careful about counting those calories. We tend to sort of underestimate our caloric intake and overestimate the caloric burn. A lot of the time, uh, those machines don't count the, the calories burned accurately. They're usually calibrated for men, for heavier people, um, for higher metabolism uh, type of people. So make sure you really get very careful. It's better to use them, if you can use an elliptical that requires you to put in your weight, that's the best. But even so, just kind of estimate that you need to go probably 10 to 20 percent over what you think you've burned in order to get actual, uh, get it accurately. Um, the other thing that you need to remember is that all of this within this whole weight loss circus is probably 90 percent diet and 10 percent exercise. So really, really make sure that you're coming down on the caloric side. You want to keep the exercise steady, but it's not so much, um, it's not as important for weight loss as it is for weight maintenance. That's when exercise really comes in handy. So anyway, Miss Jasmine, I hope that that clarifies it. Um, just be really blazingly honest about your caloric intake. Remember, we tend to underestimate our caloric intake and overestimate the caloric burn. So just kind of bring those uh, into parity there, and you will be just fine. I really think it's going to work great for you. All right, send, send me those emails and comments. Love to get them. Uh, as always, helping you stay as frisky, fabulous, and vibrant as you can stand to be. I'm Maddie Roberts.